some DIY witch brooms. We're gonna be making two different kinds. Um, also, just in case if you hear farm animals, <laughs> my neighbors, farm animals. We got a jackass right here. <laughs> There's like a goats and I don't know, chickens, all kinds of stuff. And then also another um, neighbor, it has like a full mariachi band going on right now. So, um, but I had to film this outside because it's very messy, um, but I'm very excited. So you guys actually said you wanted to see more cooking videos and like recipe videos and also more DIY videos. Why don't you I take just... a seat, hang out. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and so I am like so thrilled about that because you guys are just like my people. I love doing those videos. So um, it's fun to get like something different other than just like sit down story times or like sit down videos. So excited for this DIY. So we're gonna be making two different types of brooms today. We're gonna be making a like pretty witch's broom and then <laughs> for Storm. Oh. <laughs> oh honey, careful there's no spiders in there. Silly. <laughs> um, and then we're also going to be making a more like uh, like primitive rustic looking broom so that way you guys have like two different options but the options are endless with these like witch brooms I think they're so fun and you can get really creative with them so uh, I'm excited to kind of like hopefully inspire you to make your own uh, so what I did was I just took a bunch of things that were in my backyard if you don't have like a backyard maybe like I do try going to the woods or just like go on a walk and find some things um just go like on a little treasure hunt that's what I call it um and just start collecting things uh in nature you can also go to the craft store or you can raid your craft closet whatever um you know your situation is like just make the most of it so we're gonna have like a little DIY craft time the very first um, thing is this. Now there's a million different ways that you guys can make your own like DIY witch brooms. Um, so we're just gonna do like kind of like the easiest in my opinion just because I know a lot of you guys are busy maybe don't have a ton of time to spend on stuff. So this is gonna be the pretty looking broom and I actually have these like pompas um, that are growing in my backyard. These things are these things are gorgeous but they're so messy and they shed a lot so I'm actually going to make this like the bottom part of my witch broom the rustic one I'm sure you guys can already see um, this was actually a sunflower stalk so you know when I grew my sunflowers um, this I just let it like dry out and it's like super lightweight and uh, it's perfect for like a witch broom and then I collected a bunch of these sticks and Travis is so amazing he helped me um, find a bunch of these like twigs and we're gonna put this on the bottom and then I'm also gonna take you guys with me we're gonna go collect even more fun things to um, you know just like kind of walk around the backyard and collect some fun uh, pieces of like nature twigs branches just some different colors to like mix up the texture and the colors um, to make it just like really fun so I'm very excited and um, I am doing this kind of like during the evening time so I'm hoping the light is not too dark but if it is I apologize oh my gosh the mariachi music is hilarious <laughs> it sounds so fun I want to like go over there and party okay so in my little basket I have all different kinds of things I have twine um, but you can also use zip ties uh, and you know cover it with like ribbon or something um, you can even get like little feathers that you've collected um, you can buy like this kind of stuff at like the floral section of like the dollar store the 99 cent store is where I got this like more twine um, you can get the more fancier stuff uh, if you're into like all natural things from the craft store this is a uh, hundred percent natural hemp cord um, so if you're planning on keeping this for a long time possibly being like a family heirloom that you're gonna pass on to you know your kids or whatever um, you want to make it last a long time but if if you're into like recycling and being super eco-friendly this is like an old phone cord that stopped working so you can use something like this to wrap around and use um, velcro um, I always save like if we're getting rid of certain clothes or something because it's like stained I'm not able to donate I will save like trims and um, you know anything I can to try to reuse as much as I can a lot of people like to give me a hard time and be like you're not eco-friendly at all but like no one's perfect you know like but we all try a little bit where we can and um, so yeah I encourage you guys to do the same so I have to be honest I have never made a witch broom like this before so we're actually just like gonna wing it together and ho like hope for the best but honestly like I feel like this is gonna be pretty easy uh, and hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing but I'm going to take 
um, these and again you can use all kinds of stuff you don't have to use this not this is not available to everybody and I know that um, and then I'm just gonna kind of wrap this around the broom and then I'm just gonna zip tie these around and then I'm gonna definitely hide the zip tie because I want it to be like pretty looking also there's like little bugs on here <laughs> that all natural organic life though <laughs> I'll be so sad if it is. Okay, so that that made it super easy. You guys saw it like took two seconds, and then you once you get that zip tied in, you can kind of maneuver these around to where you want them. Thing. Okay, so I definitely need more of these. I'm gonna have Travis maybe help me out. Um, but you guys saw how easy that was. Literally the easiest thing ever. like a shirtless husband helping me DIY like life doesn't get much better than this guys I'm like literally living out my dream thank you babe I'm just taking I, I, I think you guys can see what I'm doing but I know it's getting kind of dark so I'm just taking all these little like branch sticks and I'm making a base so I'm gonna be like um, putting them all around just like jagged and all over the place and then I'm gonna zip that, tie that together a bunch of hot glue I'm using this little wood piece so that my hot glue doesn't get on my okay so now we're at a good start and we're just going to wrap this all around and you can hot glue as you go so that uh, it doesn't come unraveled I'm in close so you can kind of see so that is what it is looking like with the little crystals on it and then I'm just gonna go all the way down like in a kind of like a straight line I wonder if we just go with this um, and then we'll just hot glue that down that makes it really fast and easy. hey we're on a little treasure hunt to make our brooms I have my little helper here I have another little helper right here attached to me. I don't know if you could see him or not. And we're cutting some rosemary sprigs to decorate our witch broom. Are you excited? In the silence. Yeah. And we're also going to cut some lavender that we have over here. Thank you. Thank you, honey. And get this side. She's such a good little helper. And then we also have some really pretty flowers and roses that we're going to cut off to decorate. Let's put these in the basket, baby. Hey, be my good helper. Good job. What do you think, Storm? Wow, Sissy, you're a good helper. Okay, put them all in there. Okay. Thank you. I'll get it. You'll get it? Okay. I have options, you know. Still on our treasure hunt. Look at that basket. Wow, look at all of the beautiful things we have to decorate our brooms. Let's cut this beautiful baby. You want to add that, Snow? Oh, okay. Okay. She's been such a good little helper. Good job. Should we get one more? Let's do this one. Okay. Can you pick up that one too? Okay. Wow. Thank you, honey. A really pretty rose. Can I put this in there? Careful. It's thorny. Okay. Put that there. Collected all of your treasures. So let's go, go decorate with our treasure basket yeah let's go decorate our witch broom okay so we have our basket full and I'm just gonna take this and just see what we have to work with I was like I should put makeup on and like get in a cute outfit but then I thought this is just real life guys like if I wasn't filming this this is what I would look like I like it too real and raw so hopefully you guys don't mind me looking like a hot mess so these little cattails I think are cool to maybe like add in on the broom so I'm literally just pushing it up into like everything so that it stays and I was gonna put 
this one right next to you, Hand, I want to kind of cut the bottom so that they're all kind of level. And then once you get it kind of like situated where you want it, then you can start like decorating it. So I was going to take these like rosemary sprigs. Also, fun little cool um, tip, rosemary. Um, deters like insects and pests so it's great to put right by your front door especially if you live where I live like where you get a lot of like spiders and bugs and all kinds of stuff so just to add some rosemary it's cool decoration and it doubles as a deterrent for a pest so that's kind of cool and if you wanted to I mean like when I stick it in it's going in there pretty far so it doesn't feel like it's gonna like come out but if you feel like yours might you can always use hot glue to get it to stay in there just like decorating your broom you know I think this is the most fun part getting into my arts and crafts over here. <laughs> when I start to get quiet, it's because I'm concentrating. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I got a few more things in my basket here. And we're gonna work a little bit more on the, this one, let me bring you in closer. These instead, these are easy to stick in these little cattails. I start coming out the top. Cool. So here are the finished brooms. I really hope that you guys like them. I would love if you guys made these too. I'm going to come up close for you. Alright, let's come in close so you can kind of get a good look. So this is what it looks like up close. Here are all the little crystals. Those are kind of harder to see on camera, but they are really pretty in person. So there's that one, and then here is the more primitive one up close. And yeah, I think they came out great. <laughs> I think um, this is such a fun, easy project, super inexpensive, and it's a fun thing to do with your kids if you have kids or just friends for a craft night. So again, if you guys make these, hashtag Shannon Rose DIY and then we can check each other's out but thank you guys so much for watching i am sending you all my love and all my positive energy and i hope to see you guys in my next video Mwah.